Hello. As we've just heard from Nishida san, it's vital for us to start thinking differently, more radically, and out of the box. So, how can we develop our own culture of creativity? Well, maybe one of the ways is to look at organisations that are getting it right. In the spirit of thinking differently and getting a whole new perspective, we thought we'd look in the most unlikely places. Corpus is a great company to look at in depth. Their end product is an artistic discipline and as an organisation throughout their work they constantly apply creative principles. They have a true culture of creativity. We followed Corpus during a weekend of rehearsals and shows to understand this creative culture. And we also asked the UK's leading national circus school to give us some further insight into how this creative mindset benefits an organisation such as theirs. Whilst these companies are very different to Sony, there are many parallels we can draw from them. But the challenge to us is to how we use this stimulus to spark the development of our own creative culture. Corpus Acrobatics is um, founded in uh, 1991. So actually uh, that was the born the birth of the company and um, what is the main issue and the main goal from Corpus that is um, to bring uh, acrobatics uh, on stage in a uh, uh, poetic way. Uh, the place where, where we daily train and uh, rehearse is um, a very important place uh, to come to our final presentations and we do what we do here is is let's say uh, a close space uh, our home let's say where we can uh, without influences from the outside world build up um, a high quality to be creative the performers require a safe environment they need to feel they're working in a trusting culture that supports them in toyota Workers are encouraged to pull the hand on cord whenever they see a problem. Pulling the cord stops the production line, which would be discouraged in many other environments, but in Toyota, it's seen as a positive and a cause for congratulation. When I describe my job to people, what I tell them it's about is about creating a very safe framework, um, both legally, financially, in terms of regulation, um, also emotionally, an incredibly safe framework in which artists and teachers and our students can take amazing artistic risks. And what is a creative process? Because that's a very interesting uh, subject where we are all the time busy with. It's like, okay, this kind of element, we do it in a skill always the same. Handstand. Handstand, you learn that perfectly you stay on your hands, upside down, and you know how to do that. Then we say, okay, I know that. But might be that now we start to say, your handstand is going to change. And then we start to, the acrobat has to learn how to be flexible and to say, okay, might be that you have to start to walk with your handstand and to be a certain creature can be that you have to be an animal. This process starts to happen and makes the difference. You need to develop also yourself more. And that means that we have to be interested and curious. And curiosity is very important, I think, in creation. If you are not curious, we stop our, our world is getting smaller. An input can be visiting other fields than your own common world. So that means that you have to go with an acrobat out of this studio and say, we go to make it larger, our world. Creative Exchange is a program of work developed by the Circus Space, um, which is designed to expose artists from different fields to each other's work and ways of working. One of the things that we were very interested in doing was 
enabling people to break out of those little boxes that maybe they or other people had put them into. Um, so that was also a major guiding principle for the creative exchanges because it was an opportunity to bring in somebody who had no pre-existing, no specific pre-existing relationship with the circus. Um, and he was able to bring with him, you know, it was almost like fresh air, it was another world. Uh, you want to make a show and you build up a show, you have something in mind and you bring it to the stage and you see it doesn't work like, it didn't work as you thought it would work. The most important I think that we do and you have to do is to analyze yourself. Be self-critical is I think one of the most, the best reasons to make improving yourself. If we start to talk about like how it is not my problem, I don't have nothing to do with this mistake. It's getting, I think, a lot you lose. In order for the arts to move forward and to uh, evolve and to continue to excite and amaze and delight and move and upset people, um, there needs to be that opportunity to, to fail, to do things, to, to, for things not to work and for it not to be a problem. The first time you perform an act is always quite scary. So that's why I kind of like to slowly um, evolve something. So I have some elements which I know from previous experiences that are safe already, and then I can try the new, new elements in the act and see how they go. Uh, trial and error is really important. If you're not prepared to drop, you're not gonna progress. Even learning from that, that mistake, you go on with a fresh mind. And in the freshness and in the spontaneity, creativity starts to, to be alive. Each uh, acrobat has his own potential to be creative. Right? An own character, an own individuality, and brings his own input. What we work with, as, an, as a choreographer and director, I need them to, to, to work together. You get the collective creativity. And the collective creativity is like we work as a team. Vincent stresses the need for input from all the people involved. This idea of an open workplace is evident at Virgin, where all employees are encouraged to share ideas with senior management. Everyone has the chairman's phone number, and he gets two to three calls a week on new business ideas from employees. The idea of Virgin Bride came from one of the company's air stewards. We need the input from the acrobats to make a total uh, a, a fantastic show. I mean, that, what is fantastic show? Uh, that means that the input from each individual acrobat is coming together in an, and making the result on a higher plan. If you need to be without too much worries in your head, I think, personally. So that means you have to relax and to make the ambience uh, positive enough that people can come and feel free to create and come with input. I work with them, I choreograph them, we work as a team beside the last days to prepare them to be on stage and now they are ready. Once they go on stage, I'm off. That means that they do it themselves. We also learn them to be then on their own and forget about the others like myself that help them to come on stage. They are empowered to work autonom. Empowerment is a key part of Corpus's creative success. During IBM's 2006 Innovation Jam, it brought together more than 150,000 people from 104 countries and 67 companies. By giving employees ownership of the conversations and the process, the outcomes were huge. 10 new businesses launched with seed investment totaling a hundred million dollars. Well, I think if they, the, 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 our staff um, is like, needs to believe in what we do. If we, that's, I think they, I, they believe in it, but also it's very important that, uh, that they don't, that they keep on believing it. Whatever people do here, um, they're motivated by the fact that every morning when they walk into the space they see people doing the most extraordinary things and that can't help but 
inform the way in which you do your job. It all boils down to is how they fit into delivering the vision. And the vision is about developing circus and moving the circus arts forward so that it is a dynamic and amazing art form that everybody wants to see and everybody wants to participate in. If you don't have a passion, it will stop. As a company, we do have a passion and we won't stop. And getting fresh perspectives such as those from Corpus and Circus Space are a key part in maintaining this passion. Listening to how these companies view their work helps us unpack this idea of creativity and gives us a number of examples of where it is the main differentiator. For them, creativity isn't an intangible element. It's a process, an environment, an attitude, a team approach, and a focus on the early aspects of the process. I'm very interested in how we, as a large corporation, can capture some of that spirit here at Sony. I think there's so much we can incorporate into our environment and our processes, both on an individual and an organisational level, to inspire and challenge us all. Because the results are simply amazing. So